So in this video, I want to go over the different salary cap ramifications based on Aaron Rodgers' decision. So how the Packers' salary cap will be affected, whether Rodgers retires, whether he decides to stay with the Packers in 2023, or even if he gets traded, I'll go over each scenario for how it affects Packers' salary cap because for every team, the salary cap is one of the most important things because it's how you build your team, it's how you form your team. When one player takes up a lot more salary cap, that clearly means there's less space on other parts of the roster. But I came across an article by Joel Corey, who was a former sports agent, and he wrote this entire piece on every potential outcome of Aaron Rodgers, his decision, how it affects the salary cap. And I'll leave a link down below if you want to go go through and read it all. But I honestly had to read through it multiple times just because of how confusing every little detail is when it comes to salary cap. I'm definitely no expert, which is why I like to find people who are experts and sort of read through what they have to say and then sort of figure out what it means. So I'm not going to go into the technicalities because the technicalities are pretty confusing. And I just tried to sort of form it down into some basic um, basic numbers and sort of what it, how it will affect the Packers salary cap directly. But as I said, if you want to read all the little details, I'll leave it linked down below so you can check that out after this video. So first off, it, it comes down to Aaron Rodgers, what he wants to do. Does he want to retire? Does he want to return and play in the NFL once again? He has to make that decision. And one thing that was interesting in his final press conference after the loss to the Lions, he was asked about his uh, the, the money that he would have to leave behind if he decides to retire, which would be about $59 million. If he retires, he would not get that $59 million. So if Rodgers comes back and returns in 2023 to play football once again, he'll get $59 million. So not only does he have to decide if he wants to come back, but if he decides to leave, he's leaving $59 million behind. And he was asked by the reporters if that would affect his decision, and he said it wouldn't. He said he's already made generational wealth in the NFL, and it seemed to me like he really would be able to leave that behind. So first off, if Rodgers decides to retire, he forfeits that $59 million, and the Packers would incur a $40 million, about a $40 million cap hit for 2023, which is pretty massive. And if we look at Rodgers, if he were to stay, it would be about $31 million. So Rodgers, if he retires, leaves about $40 million of dead cap um, that counts against the Packers salary cap for 2023 without him even being on the roster. And then there's actually one way, actually, that if the Packers and Rodgers come together, they could sign some kind of new contract where they delete the option bonus, which basically just means that they would somehow be able to split Rodgers cap hit between dead cap hit which is 40 million between 2023 and 2024 if they wait to process his retirement after June 2nd they would also have to create some kind of new contract not exactly sure how that works but apparently there is a way to do it to where that dead cap hit could be split between 2023 and 2024 15.8 million would be in 2023 and then 24.4 would be for 2024 so that way the Packers would incur wouldn't incur all of that in 2023 would be split out a little bit which I would assume would help them when it comes to building the roster in 2023. So that is a possibility. So that's if Rodgers retires. Now, if Rodgers comes back, to, he wants to come back and play. And let's say for whatever reason, either Brian Gutekunst doesn't want Rodgers back. Maybe the Packers in general would rather trade him. I don't know if they would. It's definitely a possibility. And when asked if he would be willing to play on another team, Rodgers said he never likes to say never. So I think there's a small chance that could happen. We have heard in the past, though, Rodgers said in the past that past couple of years that he would love to play his entire career in Green Bay. So maybe if the Packers wanted to move on to love this this offseason, um, Rodgers would rather retire and not finish his career elsewhere. But just for the scenario, if it were to happen, the Packers would, would also incur a $40 million dead cap hit for 2023 if Rodgers were to be traded before June 2nd. If he's traded after June 2nd, there's a way that they could split that dead cap hit between 2023 and 2024. So that's possible once again. But I believe if he's traded before June 2nd, it would all be in the $40 million, would count against the Packers salary cap in 2023. And now some people could be wondering when it comes to other teams, would they be willing to trade for him because of his contract? Because it is pretty massive. And apparently if the Packers were to trade him, the team that brought him on would only have a salary cap hit of $15 million in 2023, which is very minimal. And then in 2024, it would be 32 mil, 2025, 51, and 2026, 45. So another team, if they wanted Rodgers to come in, could get him for pretty cheap against the salary cap for 2023 and 2024. So it seems to me like a team would be willing to do that if the Packers 
and Roger decided that they wanted to move on and trade him for capital. And then the final thing, which I sort of already mentioned, if he stays with the Packers in 2023, the Packers will have a $31 million cap hit. Rodgers will, of course, get that $59 million. But then if he retires in 2024, that cap hit jumps from $40 million, the dead cap hit jumps from $40 million if he retires this year, to next season if he retired, it would be $68 million. So it skyrockets a ton if Rodgers retires one more year later. So those are all the different scenarios. A little confusing if you ask me. If you want to read even more into the details on how all that works because he explains it in the article, I had to read it multiple times to sort of try to get my head around it because there's so many different numbers, so many different possibilities when it comes to restructuring contracts, all these different things. But I, try, I tried to break it down as basically as I could and sort of as I understand it. Hopefully I didn't get anything wrong. Possibly I could have, but that's sort of how I understood the entire article and what is possible. So the Packers will, of course, incur a dead cap hit if he retires. Um, if he's traded, he will still count on the salary cap a good amount. But we'll see what the decision is. Um, but that is sort of how the financials will be affected by Rodgers' decision. But thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with all Packers news, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Luke underscore Beller. That's all for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.